In this video, I'm going to go through what you can plant now in August, depending on where you live. If you've never considered gardening into fall or maybe even winter, please do. Almost all the things that bummed you out in the warm season garden are pretty much non-existent in the cool season garden. And there's a huge variety of things to grow. So first, I'm going to go through a few crops that can be planted right now, some warm season crops, if you have at least two months left before your first frost date. That puts us in mid-October. Now, if your first frost date comes before that, hang tight because I'm going to give you a bunch of things that you can plant right now. Or if you're just sick of summer crops and want to rip all that pest-eaten, heat-dried, disease-ridden plants out and start fresh with cool season, you hang tight too. The first summer crop that can still be planted as long as you have two months left before your first frost date are cucumbers. Cucumbers go from seed to harvest in 60 days or transplant to harvest in 45 days. Now I stuck a few cucumbers in the ground from transplants because the first batch got downy mildew while we were on vacation. They're still producing but not as much as healthy plants. Okra loves hot weather and will really take off and grow fast now. And they go from seed to harvest in 60 days or transplant to harvest in 45 days. Now eggplant, Mediterranean, not Japanese, are 70 days from seed or 50 days from transplant. So I'm going to put this one in real quick. Make sure to feed and water them regularly. I'm getting them started with some Neptune's Harvest, crab and lobster shell, and kelp meal. There's still time to get summer squashes in the ground for a late harvest. Probably not zucchini for me though, because I and my family and friends have all had just about enough zucchini for this year. How about you? But I love yellow summer squash, especially this hybrid that I've been growing this year. It's called Golden Glory. Lots of flesh, few seeds when picked fairly young, and it's only 50 days from seed to harvest. If you deal with squash bugs or vine borers, late crops are less susceptible to them. Okay, we're going to move into cool season crops now to start your fall garden with. We'll ease into it with carrots and beets as both of these are good to plant in the warm season or the cool season. Now, I did an experiment in the spring. I'm always looking for better ways to germinate carrot seeds because we have a hard time here. We are relatively dry, no rain after about April all the way until maybe November. So if you live in a place where it rains all the time or it's humid in the summer, then you might think that carrots are the easiest things in the world to germinate and grow. But that's not true for everybody. The reason they're a challenge is because they need constant moisture. However, they don't like being covered with soil. So in the spring, I covered half with vermiculite and half with wood shavings. You can see early on, they were fairly similar, but as the weather started to heat up, the wood shavings insulated the soil better than the vermiculite did, and those did much better. And that continued up into the present. Carrot seeds are really small, so be sparing with them, and even so, you will probably still have to thin them out. Cover with wood shavings and water well. Keep them watered maybe daily in hot weather and be patient. They could take up to two weeks to germinate. Beets are a bit easier as their seeds are bigger and they don't mind being covered with soil. Beet seeds are interesting in that they're actually kind of a seed pod with three or more seeds in each one. So you can plant one seed pod every few inches and you'll get three or so beets per spot. And they will naturally push each other aside as they grow so you won't need to thin them. You can also plant other root vegetables now like radishes and parsnips. Bunching onions are super cold hardy. Mature plants like these can survive a freeze, but smaller ones are slightly more tender. But they can go through frost, especially if they're protected by covering them with fleece or a floating row cover. Seeds are sown very similar to carrots. They're small seeds as well. But if you really want to get a jump on things, this is one of the few things that you can grow from kitchen scraps that actually makes sense and works. Just take the base of the onion and plant it like this. Keep it watered and you'll be harvesting green onions in a week or two. If you're into greens like Swiss chard or kale, those do well year round as they can handle heat and substantial cold. In fact, they actually taste better once they've been through a good frost. If you live in an area with temperatures over 85 in August, like zones 8 through 10, wait until the end of the month to plant brassicas like broccoli, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts in the garden. If not, you can go ahead and direct sow them now. The reason is brassicas like cool weather to germinate, 75 or below. In hot climates, you can get a head start by starting them indoors now, but it really is better for you to wait till the end of the month. 
Either way, you can sow the seeds in seed trays, keep them moist and cool, so inside your house or in the shade in the garden. They don't need sun to germinate. So let them germinate in the shade or indoors, no grow light needed. However, you need to keep an eye on them. And as soon as you see those little sprouts coming above the soil, you need to move them into the sun. Keep them moist and it's best, especially in hotter climates right now, if you put them in morning sun and afternoon shade. Some companion plants to start now would be calendula, sweet alyssum, and nasturtiums. In zones eight through 10, I would also wait to the end of the month for these. These are great plants to add color to the garden as well as draw in beneficial insects. The main pests in the cool season garden are aphids and these plants will bring in just the right predators to take care of those for you. Did you know you could start potatoes and grow them in the fall? They need three months of growth, so kind of count that ahead. If you're in zone eight or below, so you're cooling down right now, you can go ahead and get your potatoes in the ground right now. If you're in zones uh, eight, I would wait probably until mid to late September. In zones nine and 10, you could do October and even November. To learn the best way of planting your potatoes in the fall, I did this video right here. Give it a click and I'll see you next time.